When my loaf of bread splits on the edge like this, my reaction is normally, huh? What, where that? Eh, because it's usually just the loaf's way of letting me know that I could have proved it up a little bit longer, maybe five or 10 minutes. Like all things though, it's not always that straightforward. Roll it! Hey home bakers, it's underproved is the standard straight out of the box answer for this crack on the side of your tin loaf here. It happened to these two loaves yesterday because I wanted to go home. <laughs> Yes, that's right, I wanted to go home and I had to bake these two loaves uh, before I could go home and so I put them in the oven a little bit early. I confess, okay, lock me up and throw away the key. Fortunately though, for me, uh, my family don't actually mind. They don't care about that bit there and neither do I. If this is getting your goat though and it keeps happening to you, here's a few things you could try to help prevent it next time. Let it prove a little bit longer next time. Take it right to the edge of the path where you're starting to worry that it's getting a little bit too delicate and it might just collapse. Take it till it's really fragile. Hoo -hoo, it's risky, uh, it's the danger zone, but if you're anything like me, you might just get your kicks that way. You see, most of the time the answer is that it's underproofed because there's a little bit extra pressure left in there and the structure is still quite tight. And so when it does that big jump in the oven, releasing that additional pressure and expanding, uh, it busts it open there on the side, just like that. Prove it airtight is another good idea. Cloths are normally uh, enough to cover my dough with while it's proven up to prevent that dry skin from forming on the outside. It's normally enough here, it's normally enough at home, and it's normally enough uh, wherever else I bake bread. However, if you live in the desert, or you have some heat blowing from the back of your fridge, or a fan heater like I have here, air conditioning unit, the air might be a little bit dry, and so the outside of your loaf will dry out. This restricts the puff. It restricts the puff while it's puffing, it restricts the puff when it's in the oven, and if it's gonna split anywhere, it will split where it's weakest, which is that little point of moisture there um, between the dough and the tin. Does that make sense? Find somewhere enclosed uh, to prove it up that final time, like in a plastic box or in a microwave or in a cupboard or in a dough prover if you're fancy. And if you really want to go the extra mile to make sure it stays moist, create a bit of humidity in there. A little pot of hot water is normally enough uh, to keep that top bit moist. It works. And on the same principle, another thing you can do is make sure you're using steam in the oven in the first place or try and use additional steam on the oven if you can. You see me do it millions of times and it works in the same way because it keeps that top bit moist up for longer, allowing it to expand. If it dries out too fast, stays too tight, that stays exactly where it is and the loaf's got to expand from somewhere. So again, it expands where it's weakest. Right there, always. Place your bread though in the oven. Pour some water out of a kettle into to a hot tray beneath very, very carefully because it's hot. Shut the door, trapping all that steam inside and that should keep that top moister for at least the first eight to 10 minutes where the loaf jumps up as it hits the heat. That's the crucial moment. And that should help prevent uh, the edge of the tin explosion. Your loaf should be fine if you combine these principles, but often the case is that your oven is actually working against you. Like it could be hotter in one area and that would cause your loaf to burst on the same side every single time or it might have trouble keeping that humidity, keeping that moisture in that you've tried so hard to put in with the steam, therefore creating a drier environment than what you might like. If so, that makes everything we've spoken about here all the more important. Do your best and if you still struggle then you can always uh, rely on my technique which is the classic eh. Why? Because these are loaves of real bread that I made and they feed me and my family toast and sandwiches and they will eat it and they will say yum. Nice one, dad. What more do we want? Oh, and that part there is always wicked crispy. Yes. Keep doing it, keep enjoying it, keep celebrating your wins and go. Go on, go make that bread. See ya.